Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to the subject ECM 366 So for this topic we are going to look at taking off quantities for building and civil engineering works and for today we are going to look for foundation and also for the stump and the column Right, so first let take a look on the lesson outcome so at the end of the lesson students should be able to prepare taking off sheet for concrete works form work and reinforcement bar for foundation stump and column and number two student will be able to prepare bill of quantities for concrete works form work and reinforcement bar for foundation stump and column Right, first we take a look on a real pet footing and stump. So if you can see here, this one is pet footing. Alright, and we have a stump here. Okay, so next we look at the reinforcement for the pet footing so as you can see here first we have the first direction of steel and also we have another direction of reinforcement bar so if we take one reinforcement bar the shape will be like this whereby the reinforcement will be have two band okay one and two band so in our previous lecture we have memorized the length for the band, if we use high tensile steel, it will be 5.5D and if you use mild steel for your reinforcement, the length of the one band will be 5D. Okay, so in this diagram here, you can see the formwork and also the reinforcement for the pet footing and stump. And then in this last diagram is uh, the pet footing and stump that already concreted. Next, we look at the method of statement for foundation. So the first step is you mark the location of your pet footing and then you excavate. So after you excavate, you pour a lean concrete. Step number four, you erect your formwork. And then for step number five, you put a spacer. So if you can see in the diagram, there is a spacer. And number six, you put your rebar. Number seven, you put the rebar for your stump. Number eight, you provide additional ties to form work if necessary. So you put the support here for the form work. And number nine, you concrete. Lastly, you open your form work. Alright, so first we are going to do the example one. So figure one shows the detailing of pet footing and stump to be constructed. Carry out the calculation for quantities of material for formwork, concrete and reinforcement for the stump and pet footing. So you need to do for stump and pet footing. So provided the concrete cover for pet footing and stump is 30 mm and sawn timber use is 25 mm thick. Concrete grade 25 is used for the pet footing and stump. Right, so these are the diagram, figure 1. So it gives the height here is 1800 mm. And here the lapping, if you can see, the red color is the reinforcement for the stump. And then 
the green color is reinforcement for the column so here here is basically your reinforcement for the stump and reinforcement for the column is lapping right so if you can see the reinforcement is lapping so it provide the length for the lapping is 40 d if this 2d diagram we convert into 3d so it will become like this so here it give the l1 and l2 let's say here is l1 and this side is l2 so l1 will be 1500 mm and l2 also will be 100 and 1500 mm and the height is provided here h it will be 450 so this is for the pet footing and then for your stump here it will be here next we look at the reinforcement for the pet footing so it has two direction let's say this is for x direction and this is for y direction so both direction use the same reinforcement which is 80 20 meaning that for x direction it has 8 reinforcement that use t20 and for y direction it has it has 8 reinforcement that using t20 and also here it has the ties and then at the bottom here there is a lean concrete so the thickness is 50 mm and if you look at this height basically it is not including the lean concrete and then this cross section is referred to the cross section for the stump and another cross section at the top it refer to the cross section of the ground beam And then if you can see here, there is a stirrup inside of the stump. So the spec is provided by R8. The spacing is 150. So meaning that there, is, there will be many of stirrup here. So you are going to determine the number of stirrup. Provided that the spacing is 150. First, we are going to solve for concrete and for the pad footing. So just now we know that the L1 is 1.5 meter, L2 also 1.5 meter, and the height is 0 0.45. So concrete, we are going to measure the volume. So that's why here time sink is 1 because you only have one pad footing. And the dimension of your pet footing, L1, L2, and height. So you just multiply the time sink 1, multiply with 1.5, multiply with 1.5, and multiply with 0 0.45. You will get 1.012 meter cube of concrete. So that is for the concrete. For the stump, the same thing. You need to know the height and also the cross section of your stump. So first we look at the stump here basically you are need to know the height of your stump and given the height here 1.8 meter and to know the height of your stump you need to minus with this height so basically it is 450 the height of your ground beam and you also need to minus with the height of your pet footing so for your pet footing the height is 450 so you will get the height of your stump here Okay, so if you can see 1.8 minus 
the height of pad footing and minus the height of the ground beam so you will get 0 0.9 so you put it here 0 0.9 and this one is basically the cross section of thing this is the cross section 450 times 125 so just put in the dimension of your taking off after you multiply you will get 0 0.051 meter cube of concrete so this one is for your stump next is for lean concrete so if you look at the diagram here you put the lean concrete so the thickness is 50 mm So for your lean concrete, thickness is 50 mm. This one is L1 and L2, the size of your pet footing. So after you multiply, you will get 0 0.113 meter cube of lean concrete. Next, we are going to solve for the reinforcement for pet footing. So if you look, the both direction are using the same reinforcement. So we can see for each direction it use 8T20 so meaning that we can solve both directions simultaneously so for the time sink it will be 1 slash 2 slash 8 so the one here refer to the number of pet footing so in this question we only have one pet footing 2 here is for two direction first for the x direction and another one for the y direction because we solve it simultaneously and the it here referring to the number of reinforcement for each direction next we are going to calculate the length of one reinforcement for the pet footing so let's say we take this reinforcement Right, so we are going to calculate this length first. So we know the length here is 1500 mm. So at this end, there will be concrete cover. So provided in the question the concrete cover is 30 mm so meaning that the length here equal to 1500 mm minus with to cover because you have at this end and also another one at this end so cover 30 mm for one cover so meaning that minus with 60 mm for the cover and then if you look here your reinforcement will have two band right the first one is here the second band will be here so the dimension is not provided in this diagram so we use the standard so we look at this reinforcement it is made from high tensile steel because it used t steel so t is referred to high tensile steel so meaning that the length of the band for one band it will be 5.5 d so 5.5 times the d here is 20 because the size of reinforcement is 20 mm so now we have two band meaning that we need to multiply with two in the solution we get the length for one reinforcement is equal to 1.66 so we put inside of our dimension here so time sync will be 1 slash 2 slash 8 
so you just multiply 1 multiply with 2 multiply with 8 and multiply with 1.66 you will get 26.56 meter of T20 so that is for the reinforcement for pet footing